Hey guys, today we are going to look at some foil magic cards that have gotten gone up in price recently. We will start with this one. I'm a big fan of zero. So force of will, any cards, the packs of negation, pack of the titan, any of these cards, including madness zero is going to be played at some point in time. This card has been ticking up slightly but the foil is ten dollars so if you like a card buy in foil the i would say it is interesting because there are a lot of madness cards i think are overvalued and should the mechanic become i don't want to say like redone but should there be another card another card that's very good that would use the madness mechanic which is discarding at random are discarding what you choose into your graveyard but then you got the cards back this would be an infinite combo wouldn't it it would be infinite combo and therefore it would be kind of fun so all right let's move on to the next card which is stone rain from mccating mask you might ask huh why is it is a free dollar foil really worth talking talking about yes because previously it was under a dollar and all McKading Mask foils are going up in price regardless of what they are. This is one of these interesting points that happen to old cards. Doesn't matter what the card is. If it's old and in foil, it's probably worth a dollar or two. The concept of foil bulk is where you can make a lot of money. Uh, there are people who don't realize this trend. The trend is only going to increase in time where old cards in foil will eventually be worth a ton of money. I like Stone Rain. I kind of like the land destruction. I know why we moved away from it or, and why our land destruction cards are so bad nowadays. It did get outpaced. Uh, Molten Rain is slightly better. It does cost one red, but I would say it's slightly better, especially in the modern format with all those non-basics. Extra two damage is a lot. So I love old cards. I love old foils, Mercadian Mask foils. It doesn't matter what it is. So like you can buy any Mercadian Mask foil, hold it, and then it probably will go up in price in a few years. I did want to talk about Jace. Uh, I remember when foil Jace, before any of the reprints, was about $800 a card. It has since only been $300 a card. There is This is the original foil Jace, by the way. This is not the reprinted version of it in foil. This is the original OG. $300 is interesting because it keeps dropping and dropping and dropping. If it gets to 200 or 150, it will be auto pickup. Like it would be, this is a clear card that is at least $400. If it was unbanned. Uh, so let's talk about unbannings. If you want to take a high risk, I would buy Jace. And I would buy this Jace in foil. It's the original foil Jace at $300. We know this card used to be $800 when it was still banned in modern, so not much has changed. But it has just been reprinted and reprinted and reprinted. He is one of the most iconic cards in Magic. Do we expect to see him in 25th anniversary? I don't know. I mean, reprint on him is recent, but he would be he could be classified as a unique magic card donate uh, another big one on the reserve list uh, reserve list foils are very good there's no reason not to hoard them like crazy because a they're not going to be reprinted and b given the time stamp on them they are very old and therefore not man many of them exist regardless of how magic does with standard and modern and all that stuff uh, i think there will be a edh crowd and that EDH crowd will be around forever. Uh, they EDH is one of the... Magic is a great game. Like, if you exclude the drama, you exclude all the bickering and the... I don't know how to explain it. If you exclude the drama from Magic and the card quality issues and all this new, new stuff, overprinting, the branding problem where everything is on sale for 90% off, uh, and you still at the core have a very, very smart, very fun game. And that's why I was attracted to it when I was in elementary and middle school because it was a smart game and nothing like that existed at the time. And I feel like today there's more games like Fire Emblem, as you guys know, I like that game a lot, 
where uh, I would still play Magic digitally. I would still spend a lot of money on Magic if it ever goes to a really... If I can play Magic on my iPhone, yes, I will spend money on it. But if I had to buy something, it would be like these old school cards. Like, I just like them. Uh, the artwork, in my opinion, is better. The card quality is way better, especially in foils. And it reminds me of a time where Magic was very simple. Like now, I don't know what it is, but I think Magic is trying to be more socially accepted. And I don't feel like that makes too much sense for me. Uh, to me personally, okay. Uh, not like socially accepted, but like it's like, oh, we want to be the cool kids now. But that's not the point of Magic. The point of Magic is you're not the cool kids. And this is an intellectually stimulating game that you can meet with strangers on a Friday night and play with them. And they took Friday Night Magic away, really. Uh, or they chained, quote, changed it. And it's sad. You know, it is very sad. I grew up with a Wizards of the Coast store. You know, I knew how great that was. Now, the store only lasted like less than a year, but when it did last, they, it was a lot of fun. People, you'd meet some douchebags, but then you'd meet some really good people too. And it's like life. You don't need to hang out with the douchebags. You can just hang out with the really, really good people. All right. So what if I told you I found a bunch of these? <laughs> I just have the bulkiest of bulk. I had no idea this was $7 regular card. I have a few foils and it's $63, but it makes sense now. Like, if you wanted to see where the money is in MTG Finance, it's in these old foils. Like if you bought a collection for $50 and it was during Odyssey, if this guy pulled a foil, it would still be there. And it would cover, mm, let's say buy list, close to the cost of that $50 set. And then everything else you eat is profit. And that's why I like. I like bulk. I like foil old cards. And I don't think you can lose money on that right now. Now, will it be different? Will people catch on? Yes. I mean, there was a time where apparently people didn't know a Black Lotus was worth a few hundred dollars. And you could get it for like five bucks. My gosh, right? Now is the time to buy these old cards. I don't feel like they will ever go. This is the bottom. This is the bottom. Uh, on some of these reserve list cards, on some of these older stuff, on some of these old foils. Yeah, y yes, it could get reprinted, and yes, it's price will tank, but in no way when you play during Odyssey would you expect this card to be a $73 foil. So already you're kind of ahead, especially if you can get... You can always make money from MTG Finance. It's just what price you're buying in at. That's the key. The key is not what... The key is what you sell it at, but... That's based on what you can buy at. If you buy something, if you buy a iconic box for $140, yes, you'll be fine. But if you buy it for $180, no, you will not be fine. Anyway, bye guys.